So what is the best way to drive in PGA Tour in EA Sports? So as you'll see, we're currently using the computer, which obviously we're using a controller. It is the same, but obviously in the different formats of control. With obviously the, the PC, you've obviously got A to go here. And as you go for the backswing, you'll see that you can obviously find the point there where that black little arrow is there. So that will depend on how much of a backswing you want, will be the main indicator of where you want to go for the perfect shot. If you zoom out, you can obviously find pretty much how far you can go with 100%. You've got to take the wind into consideration, which I believe should be somewhere. I don't know where it's gone, actually. The wind was there. Oh, it's there. Look, two miles per hour, 306 feet. So realistically, you've always got to take that into consideration. Two miles per hour is normally not loads. We have seen it up to 10, 11. But with this, you can also add power. So as you're on that backswing, for the PC, it's A. And obviously, as you press it more and more, you should be able to get it pretty much to the max. Then what we want to do is go for the in-swing. So if we're looking for the maximum amount, we're going to try it now. So we go back, A, 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 and whack. And as you can see, that black marker comes in. We're also going to tap A and push forward to try and get as much roll as possible and give ourselves the longest distance drive as we can. So this is an interesting drive as well. And this one will be dependent on how well you can actually drive because you notice there is a tree. Sometimes if you press U and kind of look at where you can drive, if you feel very, very confident with your drive, you might be able to kind of miss it and go a little bit over what it's suggested. And it depends on obviously your character. We're personally using a very, very top end overall 92 driver. So we're gonna try and see if we can outbeat this tree. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in general, like I say, the swing is going to be a lot of practice. It is very much just a motion that you'll get used to. And as you kind of go up to it, so we're gonna go with the A here and we're gonna go for a big swing. So we need as much, as much in this as possible. So big back swing with the A, little bit out there. Can we go over the tree? It looks like we can. And can we get a bit of a side? That looks pretty perfect to me. Again, just before the rush, uh, the rough, beautiful. I will take it. And like I say, sometimes you can get it wrong. And that is where the practice of driving really comes in. The power button is always going to be a nice one. And you've always got to add that little bit extra to what it's actually so showing you on screen. And it works pretty much for everything as well. For instance, for the fairway here, we notice it's a two mile per hour wind. Maybe want to come back a little bit just to kind of negotiate for that wind as well. So again, we're looking pretty straight, nice setup here. We're gonna get the swing going. We don't need any power on this one realistically. We just need an absolute clean swing. We can maybe put a bit of spin on. By the looks of it, it's gonna be a bit to the right. Can we get the spin? And you set yourself up perfectly. The more and more swings you do, the better you're gonna get at it. And it's just about reading the green, reading the miles per hour, and also reading how well you can actually hit it. Another perfect drive we can go for here. We've obviously gotta go through three drives, why not? So let's get ready. Standing over the ball, get the tapping going, and big swing goes for the power. And this is what you want in a PGA Tour. It's a great third one, as we get a lot of power momentum on this one, and see how far this, far this one flies. It's a lovely hit that might just land over the bunker if we can get the bounce. Ooh, it's in a bit of a rough. 